Hi, I'm Kip Wilson, and I'm the author of White Rose, which is a historical novel in verse. And uh, like my friends at 826 National, I think this is a good time to write. Um, I will admit, though, that I had a little trouble getting started, and sometimes the beginnings are the hardest, right? Um, I do have a really cool project now that I'm super excited about, but at the beginning, uh, once we started staying home all the time, it was a big adjustment for me and for everyone to fit in all those regular day-to-day -day things with creative work and creative pleasure um, because, you know, we still have other things we have to get done. Even if we're working from home, we still have to work and uh, we still have to, you know, students still have to take classes or they have to do assignments. Um, and, you know, we still have to get our groceries somehow and, and, um, and make sure everybody in the household is taken care of and et cetera. So um, it's certainly not easy, but um, it's worth it, I think, to, to use this time as much as we can um, to at least make that time to, to write. Um, and uh, there's a lot to write about, of course. So um, I thought I would share a quick exercise on something that's been interesting for me to write about um, is, is working on a visual. And um, so, you know, I'm not an artist by any means and I would not <laughs> try to make art art, um, but I like to look at it and be inspired by it. Um, and for me recently, it's been photography that I found very interesting in looking at other people's photographs, especially from historical eras that I'm interested in. Um, and so I thought of a way to tie that in to what we're going through now, um, because I had this fantastic book um, that I recently got. It's called Vu, the story of a magazine. Um, and this was a magazine in the 1930s in Paris. And this book is just filled with all these amazing photographs that were used in the magazine or on the covers of the magazine. And um, so for, I'm gonna show you a few pictures from, from one of the magazines, uh, one of the issues. This one, as you can see, all these different people. This here up top says, uh, l'élégance du métier, the elegance of the job. Um, and all of these people were, you know, photographed in their professions. Um, and I thought that was especially interesting comparing that from those days to now and how important those people to us are who are out there who still have to go out of the home to do their work. So all the medical people, all of the grocery store workers, all the people delivering packages and food and everything, and all the people cleaning up everywhere, um, restaurants that are still opening, delivering food. Um, so these workers today are so essential to us. And I thought, well, why don't we honor them by writing a poem about them? So for me, I like the historical aspect. So I would pick one of these old photographs to use as inspiration and then write a poem about one of those people. Um, but maybe to you, it might be more interesting to think of somebody today, especially in the situation we're all in. Um, you can either you know, do a Google search, um, look on the images tab when you enter your search term, like you know, ER doctor, for instance, um, and see what images come up and then you know, try and write a poem with that, as, that person as your subject um, you can either do it as a kind of like an, an ode to honor this person, or you can just try and get yourself into their perspective and imagine what it would be like to be them and do what they have to do and write a poem from their perspective. Um, so, like I said, um, that's just something to get you started. Uh, after that, it's up to you. Um, but that's just a good way to just spend an, uh, a short time of your afternoon and um, kind of Put yourself somewhere else and escape from the um, situation you're in and put yourself somewhere else. And again, I think this is a good time to write, so I hope you think so too.